welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, lifestyle, and Bible. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So... For today's video, I have like a springy, summery, yellow, orange, blue makeup look that I was inspired by uh, from a picture on Facebook. And I will insert that picture right now. This look was definitely not something I came up with by myself. I seen it on Facebook. I got inspo from it. And that is what I'm going to be creating. And if you're wondering why I'm talking so quiet, it's because it is not even 7.30 in the morning yet and I'm filming and I do not want to wake up my children. So with that being said, we are going to be playing with some new makeup products. So it's some BH Cosmetics stuff. So I have this palette right here that we're going to be trying out. And these are the two shades I'm going to be reaching for the most. And this is their Midnight Festival palette. And I think I got it on sale. I'm not sure if the sale is still going on right now, but they have up to 65% off on a lot of their products. And then I also did pull out my Orange You Glad palette just in case we need like one of these for like some shimmer or something. So yeah, so it's gonna be like yellow, orange, yellow, orangey with blue. And then we are also going to be playing with their BH Cosmetics foundation and concealer. My mommy was, my mom, I always get so used to calling her my mommy. My mom was kind enough to go ahead and buy a lot of these products for me. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Concealer and this is what we're going to prime our lids with today. And I got mine in the shade 105 and this is what we are going to put, apply our concealer with today. And it's a little squeezy tube. Um, I've heard a couple of people say that this reminds them of the Huda Beauty. Is that how you say it? Huda? Huda Beauty Concealer. So, I don't know. I can't attest to that. I can't confirm nor deny. And also, if you notice, my background's just a smidge different because I'm probably the only person that changes their background this much on YouTube. So let's go ahead and just start blending this in. Oh wow. Oh, that is a very, very, very full coverage. Definitely gonna have to work with it fast because I am seeing that like it does like stick in place really fast. So yeah, so now we are going to go ahead and apply our elf. Ooh, we almost dropped all of that. So we are going to go ahead and apply our elf eye tapes. Okay, so my eyes are either different shapes or I don't know how to apply eye tapes. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. So what I'm going to do, because all we have in this palette is this straight up white shade called Star. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Orange You Glad, Orange you Glad palette with Zesty. And we're just going it to set down that concealer or Zested, not Zesty. Okay, so now I will be going, 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 going. So I will be going in with the shade Daisy right here and we're gonna start blending that into our crease. And we will be using our BH Cosmetics number five brush and it's just a blending brush, looks like that. And I'm just gonna start blending that into our crease. This is my first time ever using, no, I've used BH Cosmetics shadows before. But this is my first time like using one of their colorful palettes. I had the Carly Bible palette for a while and I loved it. But I just wasn't reaching for it that much so I did get rid of it. And we're just going to go ahead and start blending this into the crease. Okay, 
Okay, so now that that is done, what I'm actually going to do, okay, so I'm actually going to mix Daisy and Ferris wheel together, and then we're going to apply that. Okay, so then we're just gonna apply that all over our lid and then up into our crease. Take more of the Daisy shade, so more of the yellow, and I am the orange, and we're just gonna start building that up and blending it into I'm gonna go back in with our blending brush that we used Daisy with. And we're just gonna make sure that this is staying nice and blended. It's just coming out exactly how I wanted and I'm excited. I'm almost like, I'll buy you the palette to create this makeup look, but I better see you do that makeup look. I'm like, mom, of course, of course. When have you ever not known me to play with makeup? <laughs> I'm gonna blend a little bit of that yellow in just because the orange is kind of starting to take over. And I really don't want the orange to take over that much. Like I want you to tell that it's like a yellow orange, but I don't want it to just be orange, if that makes sense. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so now in the center of my eye, I'm not going to cut the crease or anything like that, but I do wanna go ahead and take this shade right here called Tangerine Dreams. And I'm going into this palette right here because there's not really like a sparkly shade that would look good with this eye look on top so i am gonna go ahead and go in with tangerine dreams and i'm not cutting the crease or anything like that we're just gonna apply it in the center okay so the next thing i'm going to go in with because i wanted it to really sparkle is i'm going in with this profusion sparkling eye topper and i'm just gonna take a little bit right over that tangerine dream just to really get some glitter on there and we're just gonna tap it and you see how there's some shimmer but it's like not too much so exactly where we put tangerine dreams is where we're putting this so this is exactly what it's called it's a glitter sparkling eye topper is it's just a topper so it's not going to be something that's as pigmented as these elf ones or like the stila ones this is literally just an eye topper so we're just going to let that dry just a little bit because it is pretty wet okay we are going to go ahead and apply a little bitty baby wing not too thick, like barely even a wing. And I'm going in with my Tarte, Tartist eyeliner. I feel like this eyeliner is shiny, so I'm going to go over it with my Il Maquillage liner, which is the liner I should have just pulled out in the first place. Now I'm going to do lashes and all of that and we'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. I love Kiss, Lash Kiss Lashes. I highly recommend that if you're just starting out and want to experience with lashes, get the Kiss ones. So that way you at least learn how to maneuver, how to trim, how to cut, and how to apply them before you go into more dramatic lashes with thicker bands. So obviously, of course, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do, oh, and I did prime my face off camera and when I did my brows, I used my e.l.f. brow pencil and pomade. I've been loving that since I did my full face of e.l.f. And then I went in with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion, my Pretty Filter Glossy Skin Balm, and my Skin & Company Truffle Mix primers. And I used all of those because I know I love that combo since we are trying out a new foundation. I actually need to go I'm gonna go dampen my sponge just a little bit. Okay, but I did get their foundation and I have mine in the shade 208 medium beige. The Okay, so the packaging makes it look really white. But when I pumped it on my hand, it's not that white. So I'm gonna go ahead and go wet my sponge and I'll be right back. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and take this foundation. Like I said, I have mine in the shade 208 medium beige. And I'm just going to take two pumps see it's a little bit darker than what it looks like in the thing so this might be a little bit too light for me I don't know let's just start blending that in okay it's a little light but we have foundation I mean like bronzer of course we have foundation now we are using it I've heard a lot of people rave about this foundation like what would Lizzie do love this foundation doing wondrous things but I also have a ton of freckles a ton of scarring not a ton but some scarring and 
So I might have to buy a darker foundation just to mix into this one. I don't know what has been up with me trying to find my foundation shit lately. Okay, so that was two pumps, majority of it going on this side of my face. So I'm gonna do a whole nother pump and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna take like half a pump and do like my nose and just a little bit more on my cheeks. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely buildable. Like I said, it's not the best coverage right off the bat. And also I feel like it is getting a little bit darker as it dries down and it's completely matching my neck. So maybe you should trust the color that it shows you online because online it doesn't look this white. So maybe they show you the color of when it's dried because like I said, it's not oxidizing. It's not turning orange. It's almost like it's drying down to, it, to its true color. Like I said, it's not oxidizing. It's not turning orange or anything like that but it is getting a little bit darker. Okay, going back in with our concealer in the shade 105, and we're just going to apply that. See, it's getting a little bit darker because I thought this concealer was gonna be too dark. The dark, the concealer is true to color online and when you first apply it. So, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and start blending this in because I forgot that I just said you have to work fast with this. And I decided to go ahead and apply it everywhere. Definitely a full coverage concealer. So even though the foundation doesn't give you the best as you're blending out this concealer, you are covering up everything. You're covering up your sins with this. I'm childish. Do not try to cover up your sins. Confess them, repent, and turn from them. So that is what that what this is looking like. And now what we are going to do. Ooh, like I said, since we're working with all new products, I'm really trying to take stuff that I know I like. So I'm taking this e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder and we are just gonna go ahead and set our face with this. Let's blend out any creasing, if any, and then set. going to go ahead and finish up our lower lash line so what I'm actually going to do is we're not using yellow we're not using orange we are going to go in with the shade right here called bubbles and apply that to our lower lash line and we're going to use this lavish beauty eye shading brush Okay, so I'm going to take this a LA Girl Glide Gel Liner and I have mine in the shade brown and that's what I'm going to use in my waterline and to titling. Okay, so I'm going to coat those lower lashes with my Milk Makeup Mascara. Okay, so for the inner corners, or we're going to mix it with Tangerine. You know what? Let's just go with Tangerine Dreams because it's that yellow orange. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in with our e.l.f. primer infused bronzer and i have mine in the shade forever sun kissed and we are going to take our alamod cosmetics complexion brush and just start bronzing our face up with this Grease palette and I'm going to go in with Mykonos and apply that to my cheeks. Okay, now I'm going to take Athens and Olympia and apply those to the, you know, like just everywhere highlight. Speaking of highlight, I forgot to bronze my nose. Okay. 
Now for highlight taking Athenas or Athens in Olympia. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and set my brows with the Make Me Brow by Essence in Brownie Brows. Okay, and now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our e.l.f. lip liner in the shade Dark Brown. Now I'm going to go ahead and take Cypress Chill by Ulta. Ulta what? By Colourpop. It's because it's called an Ultra Bot Blotted Lip. And I'm just going to apply that. Now I'm going to go in with Sunny Side, and this one's just matte. I got so many questions about this lip combo when I did it last time. Now we are going to go ahead and set our face after I curl my lashes. Now let's set our face. Going in with my primer fine. I'm gonna take just a tad of this. So I was actually just cleaning up my area. And while I was doing that, I did go ahead and just apply some of this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Swan Song. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to go, and for another video, I'm going to do a hair tutorial and then I will be right back. Okay guys, and we are back. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these products that we tried out today. Okay, I think I told you guys that I did go ahead and add this in on my lips. That was the... Ulta Lip Gloss in Swan Song. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this foundation. I actually really like this foundation. Remember you guys, I said, trust the picture online because once, like now that it's all set down, dried down, set and everything, I feel, I don't know, I'll see when I'm editing, but in person, I feel like, and with these lights, I, in person and with these lights, I feel like it matches my skin perfectly and this concealer you guys is super super full coverage i'm going to look tired today i always have bags under my eyes so the it, it's prominent to show but what i like about this is that it's not settling in to my fine lines it's like you don't see excess built up products product within those lines so I feel like this is going to be a really, really great concealer and probably one of my favorites. So the next thing, I know I only played with three shades in this palette, but I feel like I'm really going to love this palette and get some use out of it anytime I want to use do a colorful look. Because these three look blendable and even as soon as I added this blue to my waterline, like it, it, it just blended. Like it wasn't hard. It was able to like diffuse out and kind of kind of make it appear to be gradient and yeah so this is awesome i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get a lot of use out of this palette i will definitely be using more looks with this palette my next color that i will be doing is blue so i will definitely be dipping into this to do a blue eyeshadow look and that's gonna be fun so yeah i really like this palette i recommend that you get it i believe it's on sale for 12 bucks right now like i said bh cosmetics is always having sales and i'm pretty sure the sale is still going on i think until the 9th of um may to get at like their six up to 65 percent off of everything sale and then it was my first time trying an la girl um eyeliner and this brown one was really really pretty and really good I feel like it added something to my waterline that was bold enough, but not too intense for this makeup look. And I'm really glad that I did go ahead and decide to in, um, incorporate my um, Orange You Glad palette because it actually went in really well with, with this one to help me get that yellow gold effect that I was really wanting. And you guys know this was in my April favorites, but you already know that I absolutely love this palette. Like I said, I recommend it. And they do have one that's blushing in Bali. If you're that's more mauve tone, um, and that you might like. I'm more of a peachy tone blush girl, so that's why I went with this one. But they do have multiple palettes like this that you guys can choose from. I recommend them. That's one thing I'm learning about BH Cosmetics is that they're 
pr powder products are really blendable and now that I have these two I'm definitely thinking about doing my next full face one brand tutorial being BH Cosmetics so yeah that is it for today's video you guys if you have any color suggestions let me know like I said my friend Raquel requested blue so I will definitely be doing a blue look next and this hair tutorial will be coming as well my sister requested that so I did that guys if it's even one request it doesn't have to have a ton of likes I will do whatever you request so please go ahead and leave that in the comment box below I love you guys but always remember that Jesus loves you more and I will see you guys oh if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.